Best Places to Visit in Poland Before starting, please support the channel by liking this video and subscribing to this channel for future updates. Poland has a history that dates back almost a thousand years, with stunning medieval architecture, remnants of World War II and its devastation, and castles and palaces in every corner of the country. But this ancient country is also home to expansive national parks, mountains, and lakes, with seemingly endless trails cutting through virgin nature waiting to be explored. No matter why you're heading to Poland, discover the most stunning destinations with our list of the best places to visit in Poland. Number 5. Biowowiza Forest Reserve. Europe's largest remaining section of the primeval forest that once covered much of the continent, the Biowowiza Forest Reserve has earned its designation as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The forest sits on the border between Poland and Belarus, a border crossing for hikers is located within the forest itself, and covers an area of over 1,400 square kilometers. Biowowiza is a birdwatcher's paradise, and aficionados can join birdwatching tours headed by local ornithologists, but the forest is also home to bison and other large species. Number 4. Wrocław. The city of Wrocław hasn't always been Polish, over the centuries, it has belonged to everything from the Kingdom of Bohemia to Prussia to Germany. Wrocław has only officially been part of Poland since 1945, after the end of World War II changed some of the border lines in Europe. The Lubomirski Museum is a good place to visit to learn more about the history of the city. The museum covers the invasion of the city by Nazi forces and later the Soviet Union, as well as several World War II events. The Wrocław City Museum completes that history with an overview of Wrocław over the past 1.000 years. Wrocław's oldest area is the 13th century main market square, which includes St. Elizabeth's Church and the Old Town Hall. Just a few steps away is the Pan Tadeusz Museum, with multimedia exhibits dedicated to Polish customs. Number 3. Tatra Mountains. The Tatra Mountains and National Park form a natural border between Slovakia and Poland, though most of the mountain range falls into Slovakia. Because there are no borders between EU countries anymore, it's now possible to hike between countries easily. The Polish side of the park has over 270 kilometers of hiking trails. Poland's highest mountain, Rysy, is located in the Polish Tatras. At 2,500 meters, it's the highest Tatras peak in either country that can be climbed without a park guide. In addition, the park is home to over 600 caves, with the limestone cave system, Wielka Snaina, being the longest, 23 kilometers, and deepest, 824 meters. Number 2. Warsaw. Poland's capital was left in ruins after World War II, almost 85% of its buildings had been turned to ash or systematically razed by Nazi forces. As soon as the war ended, the city embarked on a massive effort to reconstruct its historic center using original plans. As a result, the Baroque and Renaissance merchant houses you see today are perfect replicas of the originals. Although World War II also caused the loss of collections held by museums and palaces, the city is still home to over 60 museums today. In addition to art and history museums, Warsaw also offers some unusual choices, including the world's only museum of posters, a museum dedicated to the World War II Warsaw Uprising, a neon museum, and a museum of caricature. The National Museum, which chronicles the history of the city, also houses the largest collection of paintings in Poland, including several works of art that came from Adolf Hitler's private collection. Number 1. Krakow. One of the oldest cities in Poland, Krakow was already inhabited back in the 7th century. Because the city escaped most of the World War II destruction that fell on other Polish cities, Krakow's old town center still retains its stunning medieval architecture. The Wawel Castle and the historic district of Kazimierz, also known as the Old Jewish Quarter, in the area are both designated as UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Krakow is home to around 40 urban parks, including 19th century Plany Park, which covers an area of 21 hectares and forms a green ring around the city center, and the Lasek Volsky Forest, which offers hiking and biking trails in a large woodland area just minutes from the city center. On rainy days, Krakow's 28 museums are a must-see, especially the National Art Collection at the Wawel, where visitors can also see period furniture. Let us know what you think about the list in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video, please like the video and also subscribe to our channel. Thank you.